Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel 25 today, verses 18 and 19. Uh, David was protecting all of Nabal's stuff. Uh, he came there to see if he could get a little bit of help from Nabal. Nabal gives him the bums rush. David and those guys are insulted and shamed, and now they're coming at him with their swords. Uh, but the servant runs and tells Abigail about uh, what Nabal did, and now Abigail is going to swing into action. Let's read it in verses 18 and 19. Then Abigail made haste and took 200 loaves of bread, two skins of wine, five sheep already dressed, five seahs of roasted grain, 100 clusters of raisins, and 200 cakes of figs, and loaded them on donkeys. And she said to her servants, Go on before me. See, I am coming after you. But she did not tell her husband Nabal. So again, we notice this is kind of a dysfunctional family here. She's not talking to her husband. Her husband's gotten the, the whole household, how many lives, into this mess. But look at this. She leaps into action. 200 loaves of bread right off the top. <laughs> this is a... Could you imagine, like, if, if in your church you needed 200 loaves uh, for, the, for the fellowship meal on Sabbath? I mean, wow. I mean, the ladies would be working, like, all over the place. And that's with modern automation. Abigail here is doing this with... with uh, Technology that's not not quite General Electric. Uh, so 200 loaves of bread, uh, skins of wine, gra uh, the whole bunch of grain, raisins. Out come the raisins, figs, cakes of figs, and 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 even get some loaded into the donkeys, and 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 boom, away we're going here. And so she even sends the servants before her. She's doing everything she can to avert a disastrous outcome. Good for her. I mean, she's really a lady of action. She even puts Martha to shame here. She's she is all over this thing. Boom! She's doing it. Nabal is partying in the next room. We'll see that come as we come along. But, uh, but man, she is just after this. She's going to save lives. Good for Abigail. What, what a spirit. What a hum humble spirit and a spirit of humility. Uh, so here's a spirit of action. She just leaps into this thing, and she's going to save some lives. Again, when we come down to thinking about our own lives, is there anybody we even know who would react with the the energy of Abigail? I, I hope so, but wow, I mean, she's she's superwoman right here. Uh, she is actively going about this, but just because she's so busy in the kitchen here doesn't mean she is not a spiritual person. We'll still see that. And you know, I know she's got lots of servants, uh, and you can bet that all the servants this are this is full engagement here because uh, we're going to try to avert a disastrous outcome. So good for Abigail, springs into action. Uh, what about us? You know, boy, we, we're not so quick sometimes to spring into action. And of course, you can get ahead of the Lord. That's a problem. But I, I like this. This is an emergency, and she's completely uh, in, in whatever she was doing. It's, it's, she's not doing it now. She's doing this. So she's all over this thing. And if she can, she's going to save her family. Maybe we should have that spirit Likewise, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, this beautiful spirit of Abigail, we already see it. She has uh, laid hold of this giant problem. It's an, a, a crisis of life. It's a giant emergency. Uh, the whole household could be disrupted and destroyed in, in just a matter of hours here. She is really doing her utmost to, she's going to bring, try to bring peace in, where her husband brought brought mayhem and confusion and destruction. So now, Lord, we are thinking of ourselves. Help us to be active Christians. Help us to know and not to get ahead of you, but also, Lord, sometimes sometimes there's an emergency, and how can we be this this aggressively acting out our faith? I, I hope we can learn how. Thank you for being our leader, Lord. Uh, you are Abigail's leader, and you can be our leader too. Show us how to copy some of her traits, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you know, the Lord will be on our side. If we're on his side, Abigail leaps into action. Sometimes we must leap into action. God be with you today.